During one of the forum meetings, the member of the Vakovna Rada of Ukraine, co-head of the Interfactional Deputy Association for the Decolonization of Russia, Ole Dunda, expressed an opinion that the war with Russia cannot be won only on the territory of Ukraine. The Ukrainian deputy also stated that the armed forces of Ukraine should enter the territory of Belarus. What is behind this statement? The Charter 97 media outlet talked about this with the head of the Ukrainian Center for Belarusian Communications, Maxim Plechko. He said that Ole Dunda's statement is a real atomic bomb in the Russian and Belarusian media. Everything is clear with the Russian one. They do not want to lose their colony under hybrid occupation through Lukashenko. And why was there such an effect in the Belarusian information field? Because there is a demand for this idea. Ole Dunda said what hundreds of thousands of Belarusians are talking about. He said that Belarusian volunteers dream of. They waited two and a half years for this statement. That is why there was such a strong reaction. Let's summarize. First, we cannot say that this is a statement by an authorized Ukrainian official. Ole Dunda is a member, a politician, he can afford some free thinking. However, he is a deputy of the ruling party, servant of the people. Therefore, the first conclusion is that there is a demand for this idea. It lives in the minds of thousands of people. It is discussed in kitchens, Maxim Plechko added. Maxim Plechko recalls that Ole Dunda also says that Ukraine does not need an occupation operation. Belarusian volunteers and the opposition should take part in it. This is absolutely part of the Ukrainian strategy and vision of the situation in Belarus. I constantly say that Ukraine's strategic interest is a free Belarusian nation in allied relations with the Ukrainians. The second conclusion is that this will help the Belarusian people in liberating the country. Let me emphasize that we are talking about theoretical scenarios. Is it possible today? Unlikely. With the right strategic preparation, it is quite possible. If we talk about the Ukrainian expert community, then this is one of the scenarios that is being discussed. There is an option that Lukashenko will somehow voluntarily make concessions. The second option is force. These models are being discussed. Maxim Plechko added, Will Putin protect Lukashenko in this situation? Putin cannot protect himself. The operation of the armed forces of Ukraine in the Kursk region shows this. Lukashenko understands this and he is nervous. As for Ukraine, it is interested in stability on the northern border. However, there are forces and means to respond to certain challenges and provocations. Maxim Pletko said, Ukraine's military struck a base storing Iranian Shahid-type drones Russia uses for daily attacks against Ukraine near the village of Oktyabrsky in Russia's Kranidar Krai, the general staff reported. About 400 attack drones were reportedly stored at the Russian base. According to the statement, the attack was carried out by Ukraine's Navy and units of the Security Service of Ukraine. The subsequent detonation was recorded after the attack, the general staff said. According to the results of objective control, an accurate hit on the target was recorded, the military said, without elaborating on the scale of the damage. The destruction of the Shahid drone storage base will significantly reduce the ability of the Russian occupiers to terrorize civilians in Ukrainian cities and villages, the general staff added. The propeller-driven, satellite-guided Shahid, developed by Shahid Aviation Industries in Iran, is one of Russia's main weapons for deep strikes on Ukrainian cities. Since acquiring the first Shahids from Iran in 2022, Russia has launched more than 8,000 of the explosive drones. According to a tally by Defense News, the Ukrainians have destroyed 91% of all incoming Shahids since March. But 9 out of 100 get through, striking homes and businesses with their 110-pound warheads, maiming and killing indiscriminately. Nearly 600 Ukrainian civilians died and 2,700 were injured in Russian strikes in the three months ending on August 31. Blowing up 400 Shahids should blunt the pace of Russian strikes. Destruction of the storage base of the Shahid will significantly reduce the opportunity of Russian occupiers to terrorize civilian residents of Ukrainian cities and villages, the general staff in Kiev stated. Forbes says that Moscow can always acquire more of the drones from Tehran. It's also producing copies at a factory in Tatarstan in eastern Russia. The Kremlin paid $1.7 billion, 
partially in gold, to secure the license for local assembly of up to 6,000 shahids. How the Ukrainians struck that drone stash is unclear. The general staff attributed the raid to the Ukrainian military and counterterrorism ministry. Oktyabrsky is just 140 miles from the front line in eastern Ukraine, placing it within range of a wide array of Ukrainian munitions.